This video is going to focus on finding the quadratic regression when given a set of ordered pairs. So just to recap what a regression is, it's simply the measure of the relationship or relation between the mean value in one variable, your output value, and the corresponding values of the other variable, your input. This We sometimes call it the line of best fit. So these may or may not form a perfect parabola, or in the past we've done linear or exponential. It may not be perfect, but we want to get a line that is as close as possible to as many points as we can. So that's what a regression line is. It would still be written as an equation. So when you're asked for the regression, they're asking you for the equation for the best fit. So we are going to do the regression on Desmos since most people don't have access to a TI-84 at home. If you do have access to a TI-84, you can always go to Stat Edit, enter your table, go to Stat Calculate, run a quadratic regression, which would be option five. But for us, we'll use Desmos. So if you go on Desmos to the graphing calculator format, you want to add a table. And then we're going to enter this table of values on to the table in Desmos. And then once we have that done, we'll be able to calculate the regression. Okay, so I paused the video so you couldn't didn't have to watch me enter the table, but I've entered the table, and now what I want to do is I want to add a new row here where we can type in our equation for a quadratic function in standard form. Now, it's going to be slightly different. Remember, standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and if you knew a, b, and c, you would plug those in. We don't know a, b, or c, so what we're going to type is going to be just slightly different. First, we're going to start with the y part, y equals. Instead of just saying regular y, we're going to say y and use this subscript to put a 1 on it. Now, we would do that because our table is represented by y1, not just regular y. Make sure you arrow out of the subscript. Now, the next thing we'll do is instead of equals, we're going to use uh, like the approximate, which is this little tilde. So you can find that on the keyboard for Desmos right next to the brackets, and then we'll do ax squared plus bx plus c, and uh, it'll be pretty standard here, except again on the x, we're going to do the subscript with the 1 because it is related to the table, so that'll be squared plus bx, again with the subscript of 1 on the x, and then plus, oops, I forgot to arrow out of that, see? So arrow out of that subscript and then plus C. And then you can see this little pop-up below where you wrote the equation is going to give you the approximate values for this. And if you look at the graph, you can see that although it's not a perfect quadratic, this quadratic function that it's creating does go through the middle of those points um, as best it can. So now we would know that the Y value um, is about negative 0.118 x squared um, plus 2.11x plus 4.215. So it gives you your A, B, and C values. So we could say this is approximately, Y is approximately negative 0.118 x squared plus... 2.11x plus 4.22. So just rounding those off to the second decimal place. So we'll do the same thing here. We're going to enter our table. This table is not as large. It's in thousands. I'm not going to worry about the thousands. I'll just know that the values of A, B, and C are also in thousands. Um, so let's start by just entering our table. Okay, so you can see I added the table, I've added the values, um, and what I'm going to do now is run that regression one more time. So, let's do that again. It's going to be y, and we're going to put the 1 on it because it's still y1 for me, is approximately a x 1 squared plus b x 1 
plus C. And so this one, I have the keyboard here, this quadratic, we're not even going to see it on our graph because it's so large. See how you'd have to go way up here into the 500 range to even start to see this one. But this one is going to have an equation where y is approximately 1.21x squared. That's coming from a 1.209. I'm going to round up to 1.21 plus... 12, really 13 if you round it even. So 13x plus 504.26. And so that would be the equation for the line of best fit for this table of values. So for this one, if you have not paused the video to try one on your own, this would be a great chance to do so. We're gonna work, I'm gonna work through this one and then um, you should be able to check your answer with it. So you would want, again, to go to Desmos and you would want to enter that table. Once you have the table entered, you would go here and type out your equation. So Y1 is approximately Oops, make sure I come out of that subscript. It's approximately AX1 squared plus BX1 plus C. And then this one's going to be a little bit different than the others because... Uh, Every single point falls exactly on the line. So this is not really a line of best fit. This is an exact equation. So if we were going to write the equation for this one, we would say y is not approximately, but it is actually equal to a is 1, so 1x squared or just x squared. b is negative 12, so negative 12x. And c is 22, so plus 22. And you can see where the statistic R squared is one that tells you that it is a perfect line. So that's how you run a regression using Desmos.